Well, I'm loaded <clears throat> with just rocks. They're all palletized, as you can see kind of to the right-hand side here. Jess is texting me. And when I pulled into this road off the highway, I'm like, are you sure about this? I'm like, if I go down this road, there is no turning around. near two track in I think so I put um, the uh, steel corners that you would normally use for chaining I used those for all the corners for the straps because I figured this the plastic corners if I had to slam on my brakes hard the rock might just cut right through it so I'll use the steel corners and uh, because it's all palletized, um, I still use straps and not chains. See what I mean? There's grass growing in the center. Pretty near to two tracking, isn't it? I guess it's a little way off, but it's as close as I've got with the big rig anyway. <clears throat> really watch the mirrors to make sure I stay on the roadway. I hope I don't meet another super bee coming in. Because that would suck. In fact, I'm gonna go on my radio. Ah, super bee leaving the quarry. Just in case someone else is on the radio and they want to come in. At least I've told them that I was coming in, or leaving. Did the same thing coming in. And these corners are pretty darn tight for uh, Super B. Okay, all the way over to this side. <coughs> Basically, I try to get the cab and the pup on the opposite sides of the road, watching the rocks. Yeah, when I pulled over, I'm like, I don't know about this. The sign says it's in this way. It's a small little sign. I like, oh boy. When I said it was in the middle of nowhere, it really is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Turn this nice and wide. trimming the grass on the back there. Just barely wide enough for a super bee. Just barely. Ugh. Bumpy. Okay. on the highway. Let's get up to a hundred. 
Ooh, school bus came around the corner behind us. Perfect timing. I like being in front of the school bus. Okay, so how long should it take us to get to Vernon? Arrive in six hours and 55 minutes. So seven hours, a little longer because construction and stuff, so more like eight hours. Let's head to, not Golden. Oh yeah, I guess we are headed to Golden. Yep, Radium Hot Springs and then Golden. Like we're going down. I'm gonna have to watch the gears here. Um, the pup was a little too heavy, so I made him move uh, one of the skids. Didn't like how heavy he had made the pup, so... That was okay. It was easy to move stuff around. Um, he said most truck drivers that come in there just let them load however, and they don't even look at their scales or don't even know how close they are to their max weight. <clears throat> he goes, they just guess and who knows if the driver gets a ticket or not because as a driver you should know what your scales are. What I did when I first started was every single time I loaded I went through the scale, wrote down my PSIs on the drives, on the bridge and on the pup, versus the weight on the scale and then narrowed it down to what was a safe safe PSI to uh, load to. So I got most of my weight on the drives, quite a bit of weight on the bridge and uh, a little bit less weight on the pup. Just about perfect. You guys have a great day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be in Vernon somewhere, or leaving Vernon somewhere.